We're doing a walkthrough on a brand new house. Let's go. So we are in Washington yet again to finally get in our brand new home. And we are just so excited to be here today. We drove all the way from the LA area at my parents' house. We left um, at four o'clock yesterday and we've just now arrived. It's almost 12.30 checked into our little Airbnb and it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. John hit the shower immediately because, you know, road funk. But um, here we are. And look at these, it's just the sweetest little Airbnb and like there's a loft up there. Okay, I'll take you to check out the loft, but you seriously, I don't know. This is gonna be your little getaway, I think. If you can find an opportunity to get away, well, um, when we live up here, we will have to oof, <laughs> avoid that roof. We just pulled up to our house and they're installing the fence right now that we got worked into the deal. Um, and since it's a brand new house, we couldn't lower the house, actual house price. So we got a few extras thrown in uh, that we would have had to pay for anyway, like putting in our fence and also AC didn't come with the house. So we had them throw that in. Anyway, logistics, this is the house. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're putting it all in. They're putting in the, can you hear the saw? How exciting, there's a saw in the backyard. It's getting real. Even though we bought the house, I feel like, you know, it's not really ours until it funds. And so there's a certain part of my heart that I kind of held out for like really getting excited about it. But I'm, I'm pretty feeling it today. I'm pretty <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> if that's a, if that's a proper sentence, I'm doing that. One of the things that we really loved about this house is that it's on a dead end street. So across from the house is this whole green belt here. Well, there's, he's not green belt. And just down there, like the kids could ride their bikes all the way down there. And there's only uh, one, two, three, four, five houses. So we got here early. Um, the walkthrough is in, well, I guess only nine minutes. We're doing a walkthrough on a brand new house. Maybe just because I lived in Southern California for so long, like people that bought brand new houses were like millionaires or something. We're certainly not millionaires and I feel nervous. I'm excited. He's getting out of his car. Here we go. A good portion of Monday may still be a driving day for us. So it could, it may need to be kind of and they, and they can work with you too. The, the okay. signing is the, the big part. They just want to make sure that your home is acceptable to you. Yeah. And, uh, and then the paperwork portion of it, however that plays out, there's specific dates on that. We just finished the walkthrough. I was going to video some of it, but it was like three hours long. I was like, oh my word. But um, we just feel so. out of our element blessing our socks off kind of like this isn't real you know like I don't know just all the feelings of almost like do we deserve this like how did this happen like all I don't know I was going around to each thing like this is our sink this is our toilet this is our gate I mean this is our view <laughs> like walking down the street together all these beautiful homes around us Look at that blue sky I mean, I know we're going to have rain, but this is what you get from the rain. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is our street. What? It's so, so beautiful. There's John coming to pick me up. All these houses are so pretty. And this guy here, he owns all that land and he doesn't have any... What? Is that edible? Are you edible? Oh my gosh. I really don't know what to say. We have a dead end street that our kids can ride bikes on. And they don't have to worry. And they can sit and look at all this beautifulness. I just need to talk to all my best friends and family into moving here and that'll be perfect. <sighs> How you feel, babe? That was good. It's really good. You took like three pages of notes. Three? Try like ten. Are you serious? Yeah. And he said that was normal? Yeah. 
there were so many upgrades in that house that we didn't and maybe wouldn't have asked for that we got included because it was a standing inventory house. Like taller front doors, the glass um, den doors. Yeah, the front um, doors. The, um, I'm trying to think, the banister, I think, was even more than normal. There were, I don't know, there were so many things. I think I'm kind of getting another reality check that this is happening in a really good way. Like, oh my gosh. There were so many hard things about this move. Really hard things. Leaving good, really, really good friends. My family and everything. But, but we've had to keep our eye on the goal of our kids and um, this school that we're going to be attending with them. Um, homeschool, school, like that, you don't get that kind of thing. It's it really is just the most amazing thing I've ever heard of if you want to homeschool. I'm just like, what? <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm going to pull up here. I just need to don't figure out where here. we're going. Oh, I thought you were going to pull up here just to look around. Because you can do that too. Look at those trays. We're going to live here. And there's three parks to walk to. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in shock a little still. Let's be in shock over food. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! We had our walkthrough yesterday. It went amazing. <clears throat> we fly out this evening. But before we do, we need to go sign for our house. This is the appointment where they flop down a whole stack of papers and there's a notary there and they're like, sign here, sign here, sign here, sign here. And then that gets submitted to the escrow company, right? Well, we're going to the escrow company. Oh, we're going to the escrow company this now, goes, so this, this is back, for the escrow company. Unless this goes back to the lender. Lender. And then they go, yay, we can give them money. Here's your keys on Monday. So we'll get our keys on Monday. I'm still kind of floating on a, on a strange cloud of reality. Like, I'm floating on the cloud. I look down and I see the reality and I'm like, yep, that's my reality. There it is. But I still feel like detached from it somewhat and then we'll get in the house and no one else will be there it kind of kind of feels like wedding night <laughs> you know on your wedding night okay so like if you if you wait um to have you know what <laughs> there are kids watching um for your wedding night um john and i did and when we got alone it was like finally alone and we're allowed to be alone and it was like oh my gosh <laughs> anyway that was a long time ago in a land far far away but I kind of feel like it has a similar vibe of being left in a space that's yours and you can do whatever you want there and it's just like it's home we're so <laughs> even saying that word I'm like we're very excited and feel very I don't know, kind of spoiled, like God spoiling us or something. Um, we have friends coming already, um, new friends, some friends that we haven't even met yet that are going to be helping move us in on Tuesday morning. in my parents house for three months and today we're moving to Washington I not sure oh my gosh oh my gosh we've been waiting for hummingbirds look at that we're waiting for hummingbirds we hung that almost as soon as we got here and we hadn't seen any hummingbirds and then the day that we're moving there's a hummingbird <laughs> Oh my word, sometimes the silly things that like kind of get you, right? I just feel like 
at peace with this decision, but it's hard, you know? And I just, I don't know, seeing the hummingbird reminds me that God is here, God is with us in, in this decision. And, um, <laughs> I don't know how to see a hummingbird. <laughs> I told John last night that it feels kind of like we have a funeral to go to before we get to Disneyland, you know? It's kind of like, it's hard, you know? My parents have been super gracious here. I've reconnected with my dad. I feel like we have, like, a better relationship now. And, um, it's just good. But it, three months is long enough to spend with your family parents um and it's time to go but it's been so good and we've been so blessed to have them they've been so generous three months three months went by in a blink yeah i'm excited about washington but i don't know i'm just having all the feelings right now They're all out front saying goodbye to the kids. And uh, I just wanted to take this moment <laughs> to remember. Oh, here we go. How you feeling? Ready to go. I'm ready to get there. Yeah, it's packed. Okay. Alright, Aiden, you ready to go, bud? Yes, he Yeah, exactly. Are you all set? Wait, I need to say something. Matthew Casey sucks. Yeah. Trip home and work. They have a glorious life up there. And we visit them and we just bless them and bless their children. And they grow up to love you, Lord, and love the outdoors. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye! Just like that, we're moving to Washington. That truck is so big. <laughs> it's packed. I see the truck. Uh-huh. I see a truck too. Nap time.